What's up guys? It's the Warrior COTP here. Uh, I've been talking about it for a while that I was going to start doing um, eBay um, hauls that I get stuff off of eBay. And I was going to start doing Goodwill hauls. Um, of course, Goodwill, you go to store. Uh, so that comes straight out the bag. Now, I did not just get these from the Goodwill. It's this has been from the last two times I went, so I want to do the Goodwill, and I want to show you what I've gotten off eBay. Now, some of the stuff I've unboxed, because I wasn't really planning on doing this. This I kind of winged it. I was like, hey, I'm going to do this next shipment that I just got from eBay in the mail. So, no further ado, we're going to unbox these. He got me this pretty nice knife. Comes in handy for work and stuff. Right. So, let's see what we got in here. I know what I got in here, but y'all don't. All right. So, first one got Uncharted. Very good movie. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. Uh, I actually bought this for my wife. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's in it. Tom Holland. Uh, we went and saw this in movies. Really good movie, though. Definitely. If you like action adventure, um, it's kind of like find a treasure movie. Definitely go out and watch it. Rent it. Whatever. Buy it. Um, so, this is Prime Cut. Um... This is a Lee Marvin, Gene Hackman movie. I've never seen it. I watched the trailer for it. And as soon as I watched the trailer for it, I looked it up on eBay. And this is how I actually came across this lot of movies that I got. I got this in like a bundle. It was like, basically came out to $5 a movie. If you bought three movies for 10 bucks, you got three movies for free for five bucks each. So um, that's what I did and uh, this is the whole reason I came across the rest of these movies because these are all from the same buyer but yeah I watched a trailer for this this is almost seems like almost like a um, mafia slash rough cowboy beef stock or you know cowboy wrangler movie it was definitely made in the 70s but it looked really good I've never heard of it but definitely going to give that a watch. It looks pretty good. Um, one thing I do do a lot is a snap case. <clears throat> I check the movies when they come in. Make sure there's no scratches. That's one thing you got to do. Which that looks pretty good. So we're going to go back and check this one too. That's something I'll do. Got to check and make sure it's good. No scratches. I did get my second movie I ever bought off eBay that said very good condition and it had some scratches. Now it wasn't deep scratches. It does look like it's last one I got was um, was an old 80s movie and I actually watched it. It didn't skip so it was alright. But this one I'm going to have to go ahead and watch too which I'll point out which one that is. Um... So this movie, I came across on the same website, sorry, came across the same buyer on eBay, and it has Jeff Bridges, uh, Sally Field, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it's called Stay Hungry. I have never seen this movie, never, never even heard of it, um, but I know who both, all three of the actors are, they're both all three of them are good. Um, I'm not going to say I'm pumped to see it. Because anybody knows Arnold's older movies. They're kind of trash. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'll i get into that. Uh, let's just say, you know, I watched uh, Hercules in New York with Arnold. If it wasn't for the cheesiness of the humor of the cheesiness, it would be trash. 
but you know, it's definitely worth watching once. Um, and since it's Arnold, I do have it in my collection, kind of like where my head was at with this. I know some people will say that's not good enough reason to put a movie in your collection, but it's Arnold. Come on. Grew up in the eighties. You'll understand. Um, so this movie, the three fugitives, I know what planet am I on? I, some of y'all probably heard of it. I've never heard of it, but it's Nick Nolte, Martin, Martin Short, and um, I don't know who the little girl is, but it was an 80s movie, I'm pretty sure. Um, what year is this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 80s. I, I looked it up. I think it's like 87 or something, 86 or 85. But um, I'm sure it's good. It's Martin Short. Nick Nolte it can't be it's got to be at least some kind of good decent entertainment uh, so yeah if you guys ever seen any of these and I haven't seen them let me know or you can comment if the movie's good or not like stay hungry here maybe it is good maybe it'll surprise me I just know a lot of old Arnold movies um, before he started doing the actions um, are kind of laughable but we'll see. All right, so this I got for my wife, uh, The Secrets of Dumbledore. This is the third Fantastic Beast movie. Me and her actually watched this on TV and streamed it after it first came out. Um, uh, I think, this, yeah, it's a spinoff of the Harry Potter series. Um, cool series. My wife's in it a little bit, into it a little bit more than I am. But it's a cool series. Um, you know. I know she was happy I picked it up for her. So. Alright. Now this is the Fugitive TV series with David Jansen. This was made, I'm pretty sure, in the late 50s to the early 60s. If I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. Um, but this is season 2. I found season one, I think, at Big Lots for like five bucks. I got this off eBay, of course, for five dollars in this bundle. So it's $39.99. But as you can see, at one time, people were paying very good prices for these. Um, this is brand new too, unsealed. But this is season two. I think they made about... Um, four or five seasons the last two episodes were made in color i'm pretty sure um i could be wrong uh if you guys are fans of this anybody that comes across it uh if you want to put that info out you can but yeah very good tv series uh they actually made a movie later on um using the name dr richard kimball and the fugitive uh with uh harrison ford movie in the 90s called the fugitive which it also had a spinoff with um what's his name uh tommy lee jones and u.s marshals where he played uh the cop that chases uh, richard kimball uh, what is his name uh philip gerard uh, basically that chases him around so that's <laughs> this is awesome though if you guys never seen this and you're not really in the black and white TV shows or older TV shows, I promise you it is really good. You'll love it. Just watch a few episodes, you'll be hooked. Uh, the first episode, you know, I'm not trying to give nothing away. It's, you know, it kind of just explains. I think that's probably the most dragged out episode. Um, but anyway, it's really good. Check it out. All right, so that's it for the unboxing. We got six um, movies for the unboxing. Now, I guess I'll do the Goodwill pickups from the last, um, you know, two weeks. All right, so this is the Commish. I don't know if you guys remember the Commish, but um, very good TV show. This actually brings back childhood memories. This is a cop TV show that I liked when I was younger. I started watching it from season one. And um, I'm not saying I watched it all the way through to the end, but I think I watched at least the first two seasons. I was pretty hooked on it when I was younger. 
Um, and it's a very good show. I was lucky enough to find it brand new. Uh, and I got it for three twenty nine. dollars This is season two. So that's cool. Been nice to find season one. Uh, but I'll take season two. I'll take it out and get it. All right. So I've been waiting this for this for a while. Um, I'm sure I could have bought it off eBay for like 10 bucks. Yeah, I'm sure I could have bought it off eBay for like 10 bucks. Um, but I know I've looked for it before and it was a little bit more than what I wanted to pay. Um, but I found it for 129 at the Goodwill, as you can see, and it's brand new. So good deal. <clears throat> All right, so this is not an eBay find. Uh, somebody was actually giving away DVDs at work. Um, they brought in a whole box of DVDs, so I grabbed this up. I have another Lone Ranger, I think season one. Um, this is just 17 episodes on two DVDs. Uh, I don't know, it's a bit scattered seasons, it looks like it might be, um, but it's cool. Yes, yeah, so I got that. Brand new, unopened. All right, so this is one I need needed. Um, my dad, when I was younger, used to watch this movie, Gary Cooper, High Noon. Um, it's a good movie. Um, I found this. I, I don't have to open these up, but I will show you guys what the disc look like, too. Um, I check any movies that I get from the Goodwill, I check right there to make sure they don't look like they've been ice skated on. But yeah, this is um, Gary Cooper uh, in High Noon. I actually bought High Noon 2 when some of the Rite Aids were shutting down. I went to the local Rite Aid and checked out um, what their DVD selection was and they were like 90% off, 70% off. And I basically walked out with a bunch of good uh, brand new movies uh, and sets and collections for uh, like 20 bucks. So I made out, but I needed High Noon 1. High Noon 2, I would think, was made in the 80s. And I can't tell you who was in it, but yeah. So that's a, a Goodwill one. All right, so I saw this at the Goodwill. Uh, I've never watched it. Um, my wife said she watched it when she was younger, but it's called the Buttercream Gang. Good kids, small town, fun, and unconditional love for a struggling friend. This is like a feature film for families DVD. Um, I looked it up. It is on IMDb. Uh, from my understanding, it's about a kid that moves away from his best friend, comes back to town, he's changed, and a friend has unconditional love for him, even though how bad he treats him, and you know, I guess just be, I, my guess is he has bad times. He stays there for him and looks out for him. So it's a family movie. And if you got kids, you want to pick up stuff like this. You know, good kid movies for them to watch. So, but she said it was decent. Um, so this is a double feature Western film. Um, I think I had Dead for a Dollar already, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, Dead for a Dollar, uh, and Kane's Cutthroats, and John Ireland, John Carradine, Scott Brady, Gordon Mitchell, that's that disc, but, yeah, I got that from Goodwill. If I don't, see, if I see Westerns I don't have, I always like to keep my Western, uh, stuff up, because I like a lot of old Westerns, I grew up on them, my dad showed them to me. But this is uh, Glenn Ford, Lust for Gold. Can't remember seeing it. I'm sure I probably did see it before when I was younger. But uh, I definitely will be watching that. Um, I've been actually waiting to find the fastest gun alive with Glenn Ford. It's one of my favorite westerns. Uh, where he fights this gunslinger, Vinny Harold. Um, and uh, there's always somebody faster. But great movie. Um, every time I see it, it's, they always want way too much money for it on eBay. So, you know, I actually haven't looked it up in a while. But I'm just hoping I come across it from Goodwill. Because 
compared a dollar twenty nine compared to five dollars or ten dollars a movie getting something off of eBay. Uh, yeah, I'll take the goodwill price. So, all right. So, this movie, Burt Lancaster, one of my favorite old actors. This is the Kentuckian. I've never seen this. I love Burt Lancaster and Jim Thorpe and. A lot of his other movies he was in. Can't really think of them off of mine. Um, but this movie I came across before on eBay. And they wanted... Um, I think it was like around 10 bucks, And it was something else I wanted. I, you know, I try to stay on budget when I get stuff. So I just I just went past it. Didn't get it. Um, I, I normally try to go for movies that are like 5 bucks for each shipping. But um, try to be patient with stuff. Um, I, I can do a whole out of print thing of movies I bought off of there and I've spent a little bit more money, which yeah, you spend $20 on a new movie when it first comes out. So really buying some of these movies off eBay ain't that big of a deal. It's just, you know, if you're not rich, then you're, you're going to take your time. You're going to look for the deals. But anyway, Burt Lancaster, the Kentuckian, I came across this before I was going to get it. I did not get it. But I found it at Goodwill. I'm glad I held on because I found it for cheap. And these old movies are getting it to be a lot, lot rare. So that's cool. All right, so next one, the complete first season of Night Court. Um, the lady recently died that was in Night Court. I think her name was something Marquis. Um, but it don't look like she's in this first season. Maybe she came in the second season, but, uh, yeah, Night Court was one of those TV shows, comedy, um, TV sitcom comedies that was pretty good growing up and I did like it, enjoy it. And I found the first season, so it's cool. Now this is, sorry, this is a, um, a eBay buy for five bucks. Yep. Now I can't remember, but like I said, I get deals. Uh, I will buy stuff for ten bucks here and there, but most time I get deals. I know I got that for five. Um, this is Volunteers with Tom Hanks, uh, Snapcase, uh, John Candy and Tom Hanks. It's a comedy. I watched it before. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent film. It's pretty funny. Um, you know, I've read reviews, people saying it's their favorite Tom Hanks movie. Not John Candy, but Tom Hanks. So, but, uh, I don't know, I've seen some pretty good Tom Hanks movies. But, yeah, that's off of um, eBay. Now, this is The Man in the Moon. Um, me and my one kid uh, watched this uh, a few weeks ago. And it was really good right off from the jump. So I thought it was like a good, pretty decent family film. Uh, so I bought it and it came in and it said it was in very good condition. This is the second, for instance, I've ever had off of eBay where somebody said something and it's not really what they said. So yeah, the case looks decent. Sure. It said it was in very good condition now. As you can see, it says it's from a city city library. So tons of hands have handled this. And if you can see the bottom, I don't know if you can or not, uh, it's pretty scratched. Now, it might not be deep scratches, but I'm gonna have to check it and find out. But uh, yeah, I wasn't very happy about that. No one likes to just throw away even five bucks. So, this one, Major Pain. Um, I have never came across this in all the years I've been going to secondhand stores, surprisingly. Um, if I did, um, I can't really remember because I didn't have it. But if I did come across it, chances is it, it was probably scratched. Because I do come across stuff and be like, get excited, then open it up, see that scratch, and I put it right back. And on to the next one. Uh, so I could have came across it, but I did not have this and I have searched for it on eBay and I've came across it, 
but it's always once like 10 bucks. And it's not one of those movies that I want to pay 10 bucks for. I like the movie. I enjoy it. I think it's a cool grown up slash kid movie that everyone can watch. And uh, it's cool, but it's not for me worth paying, you know, that money when I knew I could eventually find it for five bucks. So yeah, this is major pain. I don't know if uh, you guys watched it, but it's old 90s um, comedy about kids in boot camp. It's pretty good. Now, I came across this movie uh, online. And I've never seen it. Um, I do like Johnny Depp as an actor. And there's a couple other good actors. And I noticed it was a little Red Riding Hood movie. Or at least I think it is with the red cape. So um, I did get it. See how it is. And it says one of your best films, but they can't always breathe or believe they're writing on a case. But we'll find out. Uh, if anybody's seen it, let me know what you think about it. Yeah, you're welcome. Whoever just got that code. <laughs> All right. On to the next one. Absolution. All right. So I came across this movie. Uh, I typed in 1980, um, I think, uh, DVD, uh, $5 on eBay. And this was one of the movies came up, but I think it's from 78. It's called Absolution. I watched the trailer and I know this movie's out of print. It's got to be. It's actually free to watch on uh, YouTube. It's a pretty cool movie. Um, you know, if, if you're not into like slower movies with a story behind it, it might not be your cup of tea, but it's actually pretty, pretty fun. A little bit dark. Um, it's about a priest and stuff and confession. And uh, I just gotta say, watch it. It's definitely interesting. So, I know it's out of print, too, so that's cool. All right, Twins. This is a movie I had back in the day, back in my 20s on DVD, and I do not have no more. So, like I said, I'm chiseling away at my Arnold collection uh, from what I had. Um, but Twins, man, I've been waiting to come across this movie, whether it's that secondhand or cheap on eBay. I finally came across it pretty cheap on eBay, so I picked it up. If you've never seen the comedy Twins with Arnold and Danny DeVito, definitely watch it. Awesome movie. All right. Um, so if you like John Carpenter's movies, um, you know, I've watched many John Carpenter's movies and he loves to get Kurt Russell to play in them. Um, well, here's, I think, probably the earliest movie of John Carpenter and Kurt Russell. It's called Elvis. And I think this might have been like a made-for-TV movie. Um, but I haven't watched it yet. But I've watched reviews on it. And it seems to to have pretty good reviews or has pretty good reviews. So uh, I'll definitely be watching this. But um, yeah, I think I actually paid 10 bucks for this. But when I saw it was John Carpenter and... You know, with Kurt Russell, I was like, I'm getting it. So I paid 10 bucks for that one. All right, Pinocchio. All right, so a lot of people are like, you got collection, and how do you not have Pinocchio yet? All right, so out of my th over 3,000 movies, it's like 3,061 before I log some of these in, um, I never came across a good copy of Pinocchio. They always look like they've been ice skated on. Uh, and I've not spent the money on eBay to buy uh, one. So I was always hoping I'd go to Goodwill and find it. Just like Snow White. Snow White is another DVD. I have not came across a good copy at the Goodwill yet. And I have not put the money up to buy one on eBay. Well, I did like Pinocchio growing up and I did buy a copy of Pinocchio. I got it for under five bucks and it's good condition 
<clears throat> Alright, so Jackie Chan, uh, double feature. Um, I've never seen the crime story, but I watched The Protector uh, two weeks ago on vacation at um, in Myrtle Beach on Tubi TV. And uh, we were waiting to go to uh, out to eat. And I'll tell you what, within 15 minutes of watching The Protector, I had such 80s movie vibes with that, like action 80 movies vibes. I literally looked it up and bought it off of eBay. Um, I forgot how much I paid for this. I know it was under 10 bucks, but I, I, I had to get it. I got it. Um, definitely a, a cool find, cool cop film. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, all right, back to the Arnold rant or his early movies. The villain, somebody actually put this on uh, YouTube 10 days ago, and I started watching it. Uh, maybe it's just me, and I couldn't really uh, pay attention to it, but, you know, it seemed like there was parts of funny, funny parts and stuff. Uh, I didn't watch the whole thing, but um, I want to give it a chance sooner or later. Um, you know, I just got to be in the mood to watch it. But I love Kurt Douglas, old westerns, and Anne Margaret's a good actor. You know, I like Arnold too, but I gotta give that another go. All right, so Knockout, another movie I watched on vacation. Um, watched that night when we came home before I went to bed. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin movie. Uh, it's actually a really good movie. Um, yeah, it might not have the biggest budget, but it's actually a pretty good movie. Um, he's a janitor, helps a kid that's getting bullied and picked on and teaches him how to box. And, yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah, story behind the villain. I forgot. Uh, I actually came across this in a secondhand store years back, probably like two years ago, a year and a half or something. And I opened it up, and the CD is cracked on one side, like literally cracked like all the way across and I got all excited because you know I saw it was Arnold Schwarzenegger Kirk Douglas movie I never even heard of it before and yeah, it was kind of sad um all right so this I can't remember what movies I actually bought with this um yeah, yeah Under the Rainbow and Scarecrow Gene Hackman and some other movie but anyway this is Under the Rainbow and I'm pretty sure they said um, they hired on 150 uh, little people uh, to do this film. It's a pretty wild, uh, fast film. Uh, but I will say it's worth watching. It's funny. It's good. It has Carrie Fisher, Chevy Chase in it. Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia, if you don't know who she is. Um, and a lot of the little people you see in it um, are little people that you've seen in movies in the 80s and 90s. You know, even going back, I think it might even have one of the uh, Lollipop Guild dudes in it. Because I think that was made in the 40s or something. And I'm pretty sure he played o older or one of the, that that role right there, or that guy. But um could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was him, one of the Lollipop Guild kids. But uh, it was actually a pretty good film. Really good. Definitely glad I got it. And it's one of those films I know is going to be worth some money uh, one day. <clears throat> Alright, so this is 80s beat. Um, man, when I bought this, I bought it literally for uh, the movie The New Kids. It has the chick from, um, what's her name? Um, I forgot her name, but it's Lori Laughlin. Um, the Je Uncle Jesse's wife from, um, what's that TV show? Uh, Full House. And, but I didn't get it for that. Um, it also has James Spader in it. Uh, but I watched it on Tubi. And it was actually really good. It's about a brother and sister that moved to a small town in Florida. And 
uh, they're actually getting bullied uh, and messed with by uh, some of the locals and they end up having to fight for them in their you know extended family but it's a really good film but when I bought this I just I was I saw the price for it and I knew there was other 80s movies on it but I didn't check to see which one when it came in I was really happy because I already had Flatliners but they had little Nikita and that has Sidney Poitier and uh, River Phoenix I love that movie I used to have it on VHS and like father like son uh i actually watched out and that's a decent film and uh anyway i was definitely happy to get some of the movies that are on there all right so this film uh i've been waiting to come across surf ninjas for a long time i did not have little giants either uh i did have little big big league so it was a win-win and i actually look for surf ninjas plenty of times and it was just more than the price I wanted to pay for it. So I finally found it for somewhat cheap, under 10 bucks, and I got that. And, you know, I got an extra copy of Little Big League now, and Little Giants. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for that if you're into that. All right, so this, I collect baseball movies, and this is a movie called Here Come the Tigers. Now, I looked this up, reviews on it. People just say it's awful. People say it's awful. Um, it's an MGM movie. I thought it was going to be somewhat decent. You know, I like Bad News Bears and all the other 80s movies. But this is a 70s movie. I think 77 or 78. Um, I'm still going to watch. I'm still going to give it a look-see. But I collect baseball movies. And I got over 50 at least. So, it's part of the collection now. And Steve... Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Damage. Uh, this is actually a really good film. Uh, he gets let out of prison, or, and he has to help uh, a family that the man he killed, uh, his daughter. So uh, it's actually a pretty good film. I liked it. Uh, you know, low budget, but it's pretty good. Everest, this is a movie me and my wife watched. Uh, if you've never seen Everest, uh, it's Josh Brolin, uh, John Hawks, Robin Wright, uh, Jason Clark. It's actually a really good movie. Uh, if you like weather movies, or, you know, if you like Cliffhanger, you, you like this. It's actually a pretty good movie. Definitely a decent film. Right after you watch it, I pretty much found it for a copy for $5 off eBay. <clears throat> All right, so this is the last one I want to show. Uh, this is actually uh, something I got off eBay a while back. Um, I kind of did this for the cherry on top, but I found this, um, I'm pretty sure, for five bucks off eBay. Months, 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 months back. But it's a complete first season unopened of Charles in Charge. I want to get the other seasons, but um, yeah. I don't know. That was just kind of like a little show off this. But um, yeah. Yeah. Um, eventually when I got a better place for all my movies, I want to do, um, you know, collection film from maybe like A to B or A to A. I got so many. That's when I'm going to have to do it though. Um, cause I just showed you guys just a little bit and you saw how long it took, but, uh, yeah, um, uh, I will do more unboxings when I get more stuff in. I'll just put them to the side and eBay hauls, just put them to the side and do them all together like I did this one. If you guys would like, give me your feedback. Tell me what you think. If you came, just came to this channel for, um, you just came across me, let me know. If you've been a, um, you know, a sub to my channel, maybe for arc building or something, and you, you like the videos, uh, let me know your feedback. But uh, yeah, I appreciate everything, guys. You guys have a great day, great week, great year, and I will talk to you all later.